the first step in creating your template is to measure the product you wish to print on. In this case, our name badge measures 3 inches wide by 1.5 inches high. Next, open a new document in Adobe Illustrator and enter the page size as 12.95 inches wide by 25 inches high to match the bed size of the LogoJet Pro printer. Select the box tool and hold down the Alt key while clicking once. This will open a window where you can enter the exact measurements of your product. Click OK and you will now see an outline of your product on the page. Using the selection arrow, move your outline to the top left corner of the page. From the window menu, select Layers to display the Layers palette. Double click on Layer 1 and rename it as your template layer. From the Object menu, select Transform, Move. In the window, enter a horizontal distance equal to or larger than the width of your product and a vertical distance of zero. Click the Copy button and a copy of your box will appear in the correct position. To duplicate this action, go to the Object menu and select Transform, Transform again. Once the top row of your template is complete, select all the boxes. Go to the Object menu and select Transform Move. This time, you need to enter a horizontal distance of zero and a vertical distance equal to or larger than your product height. Click the Copy button to create the next row in your template. To continue adding rows, select Object, Transform, Transform again, or simply press Ctrl D to duplicate the rows until your page is full. It's a good idea to add a note on the side of your template layer to help you remember the measurements you use to create your template. This will help you when you're ready to add artwork to your template later. Lock the template layer by clicking the empty box to the left of the layer name. Now click on the arrow in the top right of the layers palette and select New Layer from the top of the menu. Name your layer as the art layer and click OK. You can create your own artwork or text on this layer. In this case, we will add an editable text block that can be customized for each name badge position. By selecting the text tool, type the desired text and format it using the type palette. It's a good idea to center align your text so that each new name you type will already be centered in the text block. Enter your text block inside the top left position on the template and from the object menu select Transform Move. Enter the same horizontal measurement you used to create your template with a vertical measurement of zero. Click Copy to fill the next position in your template and edit the text as needed. If you wish to add artwork to your template from a separate file, go to the File menu and select Plate. You can browse for and select the file you want and then click OK. Resize the artwork to fit in your template by holding down Shift and dragging one of the corner points of the selection block. Place your artwork into the desired location on your template. To duplicate artwork to other rows of your template, select the desired artwork and go to the Object menu and select Transform Move. Enter the same vertical measurement you used to create your template and click Copy. To continue duplicating rows of artwork, go to the Object menu and select Transform, Transform again, or simply press Ctrl D until your template is full. Now it's time to print out our template layer on the LogoJet so we have an outline of where to place our product for printing. In the Layers palette, click the eyeball icon next to the art layer to temporarily hide the artwork. Now, with only the template layer visible, select File, Print, and confirm that your printer and page size settings are correct before pressing Print. We're printing our template onto a multi-mat sold for use with our LogoJet Pro printer. This removable mat adheres to the printer bed and will hold light objects in place during printing. Once the template has been printed, position your blank product within the outlines on the template 
and prepare the printer for the next print run. Now, click the blank box next to the art layer in your template to redisplay the eyeball icon and make your artwork visible. Then click the eyeball icon next to the template layer to hide the template outlines during the next print run. Select File, Print to print your final artwork onto your blank product. And here's a look at our finished product.